gonna be right. in there but yep just got out of the shower she said to excuse the hair because while I'm talking I'm drinking coffee and of course gonna be locking it up here so it doesn't look so bad how are you doing mm. Mm -mm -mm. that's what I'm talking about yeah so you know I really don't know for sure y'all can hear me and I certainly hope that you can see in if I'm like this close to the camera like probably less than a foot away so uh I use a special like they just use like hair paste every so often just to kind of keep them from getting like really crazy looking I like them I just like them to be really twisted and locked up and they're wet right now so what I do is while I'm twisting them out to dry, I will put the paste, I will dab a little bit on my hand, and then I'll do it like that as I'm going down through there. And then I just kind of, I really do it by feel, really. Like, if there's hairs that are already, like, kind of all together going in that same direction, I don't know if y'all can tell. How about I put a little bit more light from the back side just to cover up here? I never used to, I, I was always a big fan of flip-flops when I was a kid, but now I'm like, why do, I, why do we wear those? That's annoying. Blop, 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 blop. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's how I lock up my hair. I do it like that. I twist it. I put paste on it while I'm drying. And then I'll go and try to go the, all the way up to the top when I'm separating them so that they do just like so. So that they're like, you know. It don't look like I just got dirty mangy hair type shit. Stop. Whoever it is, it's not that important. Nobody likes me anyways. Okay? That's what I'm trying to get to you guys. I don't know what all y'all are supposed to be doing. Looks like I got makeup on one eye, not on the other. But, uh, I'm gonna finish that in a second too. I just know what I'm supposed to be doing, right? And, uh, and I worry about what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't worry about what everybody else is doing. I don't get it. I don't even try to keep up with the Joneses. I don't give a, I don't give a crap what they're doing. Most of the time, most of us can barely keep up with ourselves, let alone what the neighbors are doing. You know what I mean? And now they got us on these weird online communities where we're keeping tabs on people that we don't even see in a physical form in the outside real world. And it's and pissing me off okay because I hear some of y'all I know what you're saying I get what you're throwing at me and you know what I'm not vibing with it so if I'm not vibing with it I'm not vibing with it so I don't know why you keep trying to cram it down my damn throat okay because I ain't taking it I'm gonna keep sitting here drinking my coffee no I don't know how to sew I don't know how to make my own clothes so that's why I buy my own clothes so look and that's all I've been doing right there. But when they get caught up in my earrings, that just scares the crap out of me. But either way, I've been doing, I've been growing them out for so long that like, that's just the way it is. That's just the way T is made. That's just the way it is. So I wring them out and I dry them out like that. And then it all falls into place. But, usually, I'll take the ones in the front, and I'll kind of tie them around the back until they dry, until the rest of it dries, just because it just, to me, I think it looks better. But, that's what I wanted to get across to y'all. Like, ever since, and you can ask my mom and my dad, ever since the day I was born, ever since I was a kid, ever since I started school, 
ever since my little tiny feet could hit the ground and my brain acknowledged that, hey, you're running those feet. You girl, you're running those feet. Don't you let nobody else tell you what to do with those feet. That's how I've been. Same thing with my hands. Uh, and my brain. Like, I just, that's just how I am. So y'all can sit here and throw out your subliminal shit all you want to. Guess what? Subliminal shit is like my first language. English is my second language. Sarcasm is my third. I can do this shit for eternity. And you're not going to get... If it's not gonna, if it's not meant for me to get it and then be like, Oh, Emma, you should do something about that within your life. Then I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, I do what I think is best for me. I don't need you guys telling me what's best for me. I don't need anybody telling me what's best for me. I'm an adult. And the fact that there's some of y'all out there that are so unable to, like, critically think for yourself. Like, that you you keep calling on this government, which doesn't exist, uh, to come and save you from something, again, which necessarily doesn't exist. It's only real to you because you make it real. Do you guys not get that? I mean, we sit here all day every day talking about manifestation, this and that, and all this fucking crap, and nobody's listening. And y'all are coming back at me like it's it's me that's doing it. No, I've been doing it. You know what I mean? I've been doing it. So, I just... I just don't get it. I don't get why. I was literally just stopped the video because it wanted me to think that I guess uh, I was being reprimanded for speaking my mind in the truth or the truth as I said it. So I'll try to continue on where I was. Um, I mean, those of you that have interacted with me, whether it be in a physical sense or we've talked online and we've chatted. Um, like y'all can tell, I'm pretty much the same person right here in front of y'all that I am on the phone or that I am in real life. My real life friends will definitely tell you that. Like, what you see is what you get. And you're not gonna, like, coerce her into doing anything if, if it ain't for her. She ain't fucking with it, okay? And I also feel like if you want to cuss, then you should be able to say curse words because you're a fucking adult. And that's why they have YouTube kids. That's a fucking kids app. Kids, YouTube. There's a YouTube kids. Then there's regular YouTube, which we're on. Adults. That's so that we can cuss and openly talk freely without having to be, like, worried about the next thing coming out of our mouth making some kids butt hurt because they don't understand language yet because they're still kids. And there's many different kinds of languages. So I don't understand why people are even getting mad over that. Like. What makes me mad. Is that. That open source shit. Okay. Because I don't think people really understand the full context of what open source means. They're like, oh, cool, that'll allow me to download apps that, like, you know, normally I couldn't. Uh, yeah, that's true. But what that app that you downloaded into your phone does is then allow said app developer and anybody else that works with app developer to then access your phone and everything in it. Your photos, your text messages, your contacts, and alter them. Even your SD card if you granted access. Yeah. And if you're just a little old girl or a young lady like I was, uh, back when I first got a smartphone, about, I, I was really behind y'all. I didn't even have a cell phone until I was like 18. I didn't get a smartphone until I was like in my 20s. I always had a flip phone. Didn't see the need for all this bullshit. 
because we had camcorders, so they knew this. Um, and that's when our privacy was slowly starting to be taken away from us. Because once that open source door was open, we were all fucked. And now everybody is in everybody else's fucking business, and it's a bunch of bullshit. Because it's like, you don't get to come at me without evidence and accuse me of something. And then when you come at me and the evidence that you have to accuse me of something is based on the fact that you hacked into my fucking phone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Did you hear me? So to the dude that showed my ex how to do all that stuff, fuck you. Okay? And you know I'm talking to you right now. And you know that until you tell me what I want to know, this is never going to stop. And you're not going to convince me that it's me that's doing it because people don't know about that kind of stuff until they, like, you know, geek, geeky people, the geek squad, the nerds, the computer tech, they know that. Your average phone user does not know that. We're all being tracked all the time. By who? Pick someone, because if they want to be tracking you and they can find out your name or even a local address near you, they'll find you. They'll start tracking you. They can find your channel on YouTube. They can find you on Instagram. They'll find you. They'll fucking find you. They always do. But what they're doing when they do things like that is conjuring up a unnecessary sense of fear because when you're like they said they follow me why are they following me what did I do you didn't do anything and you know that so don't don't even give that a second thought what you do is like I do when I see that someone's like kind of like maybe following me around the store and they keep like looking at me funny after a certain time that that's been going on you you know that you're being followed you turn around and you look them in the face and you go hey can I help you with something you don't just keep letting them fucking follow you. I mean, I don't understand. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a fucking psycho. I mean, if you're being chased by a bear, they tell you not to run. They tell you to make yourself as big as you can, don't they? They say, turn around, you know, be big and scary and shit like that. So why are we being so fucking timid and being like, Okay, you can follow me, because I don't know how to do the good bad world all by myself. Are you fucking kidding me? I got eggs that are more badass than some of y'all. And the sad thing is, they're never going to be here. I will rip out my uterus and stomp it into smithereens. Because I'm fixed this hill. Like, <laughs> I love my kids, and my kids are an absolute blessing, and they will be in the future to future y'all. Um, but that, because that's what I was here for, was for them to be, to be born. So, because they are, they attain all of the knowledge that I have, and then the infinite wisdom that. I had before I got here, if that makes any sense to y'all. Um, so that's why I am the way I am about my privacy is to protect my children. And every parent probably is the same way about their kids, or at least I would think they are. Um, and I just, that's just some shit. I, like, I mean, What's wrong with y'all that, like, y'all just want to sit around and go through people's stuff like that? Like, 
I mean, I admit to an extent that I'm nosy. Like, I'm nosy like I'll be driving down the road. I see your blinds are open. I try to, like, glance in your house for a split second. I don't do a U-turn, pull up in your driveway, walk up to the window, and peep in your fucking window. I don't do that. What this is, this email prying shit, this following everybody's shit, it's psychotic. And y'all are all on board with it. And, you know, it, it's crazy. But everybody wants to stand around and tell me that I'm crazy. And I'm like, okay. No. No, because I'm not. I mean, I'm really, really not. And if you had, like, a good sense of character, a good judge of character or whatever, then y'all know that. You know that. You're like, the girl is just, I'm just, say, I'm just saying what's on my mind. Sometimes I'm saying what everybody else is thinking. They just don't want to say it. But I'm mouthy like that, so I'll just fucking say it. I don't care. I am who I am. And I don't apologize for that. Everybody makes mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I don't claim to be. But don't come over here trying to tell me that I need to be perfect because I'm not. I'm not going to even try to do that. It's not possible. Even as a lot being, I'm going to fuck up. You know how I know that? Because I was a lot being before and my dumb ass was like, hey God, hey sort, you want to let me go down there and help them? It was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. If you... You think you can do that? I was like, yeah, I know it. I got this. Trust me. I got a plan. I get out there on the field, and I got y'all. And I was like, damn it. I don't even know the phone number to get back to heaven. You're welcome. No, what it was was once I got here, I forgot about being up there for a while. And uh, my spaceship did come back around. And I hadn't joined that cult yet because I was too little and I didn't know about it. So now I'm stuck here doing the work that I asked him to send me back down here to do. And quite frankly, I'm about over it. I can't, and I don't mean to be morbid and say stuff like that, but yeah, I am. I'm about to slap ass over it because this is stupid. Everything is the whole shit show. The whole fucking stupid ass fucking shit show is stupid. But on a side note, be sure about five o'clock tonight to check out my premiere. I don't even know how it's going to turn out because I didn't even know it was going to do that because I really, truthfully, honestly, don't know how to use smartphones to the extent that some of y'all do. So if you want to live chat with me. Apparently, I'll be able to do that this evening around 5.30 on YouTube. And uh, also, Saturday uh, will be another neighborhood cat ladies chat with me and Daisy Dane. So, see you then.